and the Green Revolution tonight. All right, get out the popcorn because this is only going to get better. Here with Reaction, former Secret Service agent, Fox News contributor Dan Bongino, along with Fox News correspondent at large, Geraldo Rivera. Now, not only do we have the um, Omar problem, now the Talib problem, then Nancy Pelosi invites the guy that supports the Muslim Brotherhood, and who, by the way, in 2014, during the conflict between Israel and Hamas, whose charter calls for the destruction of Israel, Geraldo, posted on Facebook and Twitter, quote, God willing, on this blessed night, as the third Antifada begins, the beginning of the end of Zionism is here. May Allah help us overcome this monster, protect the innocent of the world, and accept the murdered as martyrs. Great person to invite to uh, give the prayer before Congress. Well, I lay that on the doorstep of the Speaker of the House. Uh, I'd rather talk about uh, Congresswoman Tlaib, who I think has really been victimized in a way that uh, is, uh, uh, is unmistakable. There is no way you can read her, her uh, remarks on the calming effect, as my, uh, my dear colleague Dan Bongino has done, uh, as being related to her feelings about the Holocaust. It is an obscenity uh, to, make that, uh, to, to, to try to make that argument. She was not suggesting uh, that, uh, you know, the killing of the Jews was uh, something that calmed her. She was saying the fact that the Palestinians suffered so much uh, and gave up so much, but at least the Jews had a homeland uh, to go to in the wake of the horrible destruction committed by the Nazis. I, I, I think that that is very, I, she said it in an unartful way, but I've been reading uh, Israeli newspapers, no. uh, uh, seeing what they've been saying in temples here in the United States. They, they are saying that she is being taken out of context in a grotesque way that is extremely unfair. Sean, I would take a bullet for you. Uh, you know, Bongina, how I feel about Dan. Uh, but in this case, you guys have taken a step too far. Uh, you right, know, uh, Dan, from Dan. Uh, there's no way Talib. Uh, there's no, no way Talib was saying the Holocaust calms her. No, no, Geraldo, I'm sorry. You know, listen, you're my friend and you know I love you, man, but you are way, way off here. I mean, we're talking about an event unparalleled in human history, a unique stain on humankind. I mean, I don't have to give you a history lesson. You're well aware that millions of, of don't. men, and women, don't, please and elderly don't people were to me, Dan. Out. Don't they were burned to me, alive. man. I'm a they Zionist. were gassed. They were I've shot. Got a Jewish they were buried alive. You don't, don't, don't condescend Geraldo, to me about the Holocaust. The words Holocaust and having a calming effect, I, I'm, I'm sorry, there's, there's no way that's ever appropriate. And one more thing, Geraldo, the justification here she provides for this is completely historically made up. Any basic history 101 student who's history 001, you don't even need to be in college to figure this out, knows that there was no safe haven for the Jews, that some of the Palestinians aligned with the Nazis to, to, to further attack the Jews and advance the to, cause to against lay the, the Jews. Holocaust this at, the, totally door, at the door of the Palestinians is, that is, Dan, to say that the Palestinians have some responsibility for the Holocaust is so historically inaccurate. It is, it is That's another not what she said. It is absolutely. She said they provided a safe haven and it gave her a calming effect. That's not true. The Palestinians Talking lost the their Holocaust? homeland. The Palestinians lost their home. They, their, they were they never with, had with the a partition homeland, of Israel Geraldo. in 1948. There was never a Palestine. Well, they, they, there you was and never I can a argue Palestine. about that. No, no, it's well, not an argument. It's a historical fact. I, the, Geraldo, who was, was the king, the monarch, or the leader of the Roman Empire? There's Rome, no Rome, Rome Rome Geraldo, it There was no Palestine. The British Palestinian I'm mandate. Stop making this up. <laughs> Fifty-two years, up. these people have lived in occupied territory. They are, they are, uh, they are occupied uh, by who? The Jews who have historical claim to the area. I mean, are we having this debate oh, right now? Come and, on, and, you know and, the, and the and the Arab Palestinians do have no historical claim to the area. Is that nope. what you're saying? Uh, Nobody's uh, saying uh, that, Geraldo. Whoa, 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 whoa. But Ar Arabs is, in Israel now have more freedom than Arabs this is in cheap, any Arab this is country. Don't you find that this is cheap politics. Homeland, you're That's trying to diminish this woman. No, I yes, of course it's a historic homeland. But it's a homeland. historic homeland for both these people. Well, that, but that has nothing I, to do with Israel. the rise of anti-Semitism. I love Israel. I love, love being no a in a radical that, imam. That, now we got I, to leave a calm I, I, feeling over the Holocaust. A radical imam. That's a enough. dumb statement. All right, when we come back, actress Alyssa Milano trying to get Hollywood. Fellow actor.